Hey there, welcome back to another Council More tutorial. Today we're diving deep into the settings menu to make sure you're getting the most out of your Council More experience. Ready? Let's jump in. To begin, please locate the settings menu situated at the top right corner of your screen by clicking Account and then Settings. On the left hand side, you'll notice a list of categories. The first item is Training Menu, followed by my business setup, which will be our initial focus. Pause the video and navigate to the My Business Setup screen. Excellent, now that you're here, input your business name, address, and additional details. This information will appear on invoices and other official correspondence. If you prefer not to disclose your address, leave that field empty. On the right-hand side, you'll find fields for your business cell phone, landline, and email address. Pause the video and complete these fields. Below those fields, you'll find an option to copy your business email on all outgoing correspondence from your Council More account. This is a handy way to keep receipts of all emails sent from Council More. Additionally, you can opt to receive email notifications for completed assignments. Pause the video and make your selections. Moving on to branding, you'll have the option to upload your logo. Ensure that the logo is square-shaped, either 300-300 or 500-500 pixels, to maintain its integrity across various platforms. If you encounter any difficulties, utilize the Help button at the top of the screen to contact support. Pause the video and upload your logo or email it to supportacouncilmore.com. Next, Scroll down and locate the arrow next to Student and Parent Portal Invitations. Click it to reveal the section that allows you to customize the portal invitations sent to parents and students. Pause the video and customize your invitations or return later to complete these fields. Further down, you'll find Student Portal Search Settings. Here, you can enable or disable the search functionality for both parents and students. Moving down the screen to Admissions Probability Evaluation, in the Net Fit Reach Lottery section, you can customize the terminology used for admissions probability evaluations. The default settings are already in place. Feel free to modify them as you see fit. Pause the video and make your selections. The next banner is the Tab Settings section, which allows you to customize the visibility and order of the tabs and if you'd like the icons to be seen. Most consultants prefer to prioritize the Assignments tab, followed by College List Building, Messages and Files, then Accounting. Pause the video and arrange the tabs according to your preference. One of our most popular features is the Custom Menu, a repository of resources that you can customize for your students and for yourself. For a detailed guide on setting up your custom menu, consult the Council More Knowledge Base where you will find a long list of custom menu resources collected by our community to be shared with you. Pause the video, consult the Knowledge Base, and set up your custom menu. We will now look at bringing your historical client information over to your new Council More account with Student Data Import. At the bottom of this same section, you'll find the Student Data Import. Pay close attention to the blue caution box and follow the instructions to upload your student data. There is a link located in the blue box that will offer you more detailed instructions on importing your data and even provide a spreadsheet template ready-made for you. Great work! In the next video, we'll look at your Google Drive settings. See you there!